Hey everyone, here on my channel. In this video, I want to give you a brief overview of the launch pad I've been making the last couple of months. If you first think about it, it really seems primitive to build a launch pad for model rocket, right? That is exactly what I thought. Well, it turns out that it is yet a little bit more complex. The building process of the pad started with designing the clamp system. This system is especially important as my rocket uses an engine cluster. The thrust startup time of the single motors may vary a little bit. Consequentially, the thrust could be off-centered at liftoff, causing the rocket to get unstable. To prevent that, the rocket is clamped for 500 milliseconds. The clamps were designed to be as unsusceptible, robust and quick as possible. This concept was first designed by t series Systems, so don't forget to check him out after this video. The next thing to do was to design the launch computer. The launch computer possesses the option to launch up to two rockets at the same time. Therefore it is equipped with 8 pirate channels and 8 clamp servo ports. It has a display directly attached to the board with all the needed parts such as the display driver. It also features a pin connection for a breakout board display. The current launch pad is configured to only support single rocket launches. To make things look fancier, the rocket additionally features 6 RGB LED breakout boards with a total of 13 LEDs. As you might guess, the current needed to supply something like this isn't small anymore. Therefore, the voltage regulator I chose with a maximum output of 1 amp is too small. At this point, I had to improvise. A fan was connected to the unused power channel, but as this wasn't enough, I had to buy an even stronger voltage regulator. Now there aren't any more power issues, so we are ready to move on to the last step of the building process. The physical build. As the material, screen printing plates have been chosen, as they exhibit a high temperature resistance. The plates got cut to length and were then dulled. As a flame trench, a wastewater pipe was implemented. One of the two exits got sealed with a perspex plate. Plans were to add a cam inside the launch pad. Next up was the wiring of the pad. I wanted it to look as clean as possible, therefore all the wiring was managed on the bottom side. Cables for the RGB LEDs, the servos and the power channel were wired. I printed mountings for the RGB LEDs and the display. After that I designed the large computer cover and I installed the logo. If you first power the launch pad on, it activates all the necessary outputs to check them visually. Then a the pad goes in the so-called standby mode. In this mode, it waits for the flight computer to connect to. When they connect, the onboard LED starts blinking white. On the onboard display, the voltage of the launch computer can be checked. If the button next to the display is pressed, a green light goes on and now the voltage of the flight computer can be checked. Before we start the countdown, by pressing the startup button, we should unlock the pyro channels by pressing the arm button. If this isn't pressed, the engines wouldn't ignite. This mode can be used to test the system before the flight. The countdown starts from 60 seconds and is shown on the second display. Every now and then the system blinks purple. During those blinks all systems and the connections are being checked. At T-5 seconds the lights shut down and the ignition follows shortly after. At this point a final check is made and after that the two computers decouple. At T-0 seconds the clamps release and the lights turn green. After the full flight cycle the lights start blinking blue. 
We already conducted a first flight test, which you can check out on Instagram. A second will be held soon. After that, another video about those two flights will be published on YouTube. If you are interested in the project, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.